there's a word in New Yorkese that really describes a special man, and that word is mensch. Here in this city, it is the highest compliment you can bestow on someone since it describes a person who is generous to a fault, a devoted family man, and someone who cares deeply about others. This is a perfect description of David Taub, president of Palm Bay Imports and winner of Wine Enthusiast Importer of the Year. But this single word falls short of describing the true measure of this man, his achievements over the past 40 years and his effect on consumption of wine in America today. Beyond the industry, David has all also had enormous impact on individual lives, and one of those lives just happens to be mine. One of the keys to Palm Bay success is David's caring for everyone who works for him, from his sales force to his suppliers. I can bet that all the principals of the 50 estates in the Palm Bay portfolio would say the same thing. I love the Taub family. Given these strong personal relationships based on trust and mutual respect, as well as its instinct and vision, David has been able to build Palm Bay into far more than an ordinary importing company. To mention just one of his accomplishments, David introduced Pinot Grigio to the US, transforming it from an unknown Italian variety into one of the most popular wines in the country today. This in turn affected the huge wave of well-priced imported wines into America that soon followed. And Italy is just one of the nine major wine producing countries represented by Palm Bay today. I'd like to pay special homage to David's late father, Martin, as well as a salute to his talented son, Mark, and the entire Palm Bay team. David, it gives me the greatest pleasure to call you to the podium to accept our award as Wine Enthusiast Importer of the Year. David Taub. My introduction to the magic of imported wine came in 1963 when I visited Spain and we tasted our way around the Rioja region. I came home with a great proposition from my father. I told him that we were offered an opportunity to import some wines from Spain for $2.80 a case. And from that point, we never looked back, except for the fact that he said to me, why that much? <laughs> After exploring the European landscape, we saw a major opportunity in the Italian wine business. In an extremely fragmented marketing world, America's favorite Italian wine, as we all remember, was Chianti, in a squat bottle wrapped in raffia. Chianti has changed in face, and Italian whites, which were defined as suave, have also evolved. Working with the Cavett Winery, in northern Italy, Trentino's uh, very well-known region for white wines, we were able to play a major role in completely turning that world upside down. Today, Pinot Grigio is Italy's leading wine export, and Cavett is at the top of the list in Italian wine exports to the United States. They are a very interesting organization, one quite different from many other wine companies in the world. They're really what I call a technocratic company that's totally committed to always somehow improving what they do and taking it to the next step. Over the years, our team at Palm Bay has built a portfolio of stellar wine estates from Italy, the other classic European wine region, as well as South America, Israel, and the lands down under. Today we do business in 50 states and 16 countries around the world. A common thread is the personalities we work with, who share our passion and with whom we've been fortunate to build a unique rapport. With my wife Linda 
and my son Mark and his lovely wife Sandy, I've had the pleasure of spending time with our producers around the world who take great pride in their wines and spirits and have a tremendous commitment to quality. I first joined my dad, Martin, in the wine business and later, with my son Mark, built Premier Wine and Spirits. Recently, Premier has become Southern Wine and Spirits of New York. Congratulations to Harvey and Wayne. From the beginning, I've been fortunate to work with colleagues who have embraced our mission to provide the marketplace with superior quality products with a keen sensitivity to value. Mike Petteruti moved over from Premier to Palm Bay in the mid 80s, while Marcy Whitman, Dennis Delaney, Harish Parekh, and Tony Bonavita together joined forces with Mike to create a superior management team second to none. And it is on behalf of the entire Palm Bay team that we accept this award. It gives me great pride to point out that this Wine Star Award comes from a young man who was one of our most promising employees at Premier. To watch him fulfill that promise while creating an impressive enterprise with his wife Sybil and serving the industry in this outstanding fashion is most rewarding. Thank you, Adam, and we wish you continued success. Palm Bay will continue to be a force in the wine world. It is sure true that as in all competitive enterprises, there are always going to be mountains to climb and new obstacles to overcome. And today, we face many important challenges as we go forward. For example, the declining value of the dollar, as Kevin <laughs> referred to a few moments ago, uh, and its serious consequences for all importers. But we are a great industry that has a stellar future, and we look forward to the many challenges ahead. Thank you for the recognition you have given us this evening, and we wish you bon voyage as you all depart to your homes. I also would like to add a special congratulations to an upcoming and yet-to-be-announced recipient, Mel, the man of the year, and my friend for 40 years, as well as the other Wine Star winners tonight. Thank you all so very much.